Hey everybody, welcome back. We have found Rumble Shot, so we can finally deliver him his ammo. And he's right over here. So that's, I guess this is considered the road back to Anvilmar. And it's not wrong. What's on your mind? Just wasn't where I was expecting it to be, so it took me a little while to find this guy without looking it up in an external resource. I hope you're not here for ammo because I'm out. No, we're here to give you ammo. Great, more ammo. Old Lossler's shipment finally came through. The ammo might be late, but just like my granddaddy used to tell me, late's better than never. Thank you so much. I've already... I already have a buyers eager for this stuff. Okay, so he's a merchant. He didn't need it so he could like survive or make his way. He just needed it to sell to other people who needed it, I guess. Uh, looking at what else we have. Supplies to Tanek. Okay, so this was a breadcrumb I picked up. I actually, I actually ran back into Coldridge Valley and found this breadcrumb. So it just turns in and back at Karanos. I'm TNT. I'm Dynamite! We might as well just run there. We're not that far. We could hurt back, but not much point in that. And we've unlocked our talents, which is really exciting. We have three different trees that we have access to. Affliction, Demonology, and Destruction. From what little I understand, Affliction is going to focus on our damage over time spells. Demonology is going to focus on strengthening our demons. And Destruction is going to focus on things like our Shadow Bolts and um, Fire Bolts for our Imp and stuff like that. So, and we get Conflict right at the end. I think we're going to start off by going into Affliction. I really want to get Corruption down to an instant cast. So this is the first thing we're going to work on. Improving Drain Life would also be marvelous while leveling. We're going to go into Affliction, guys. I'm really interested in Affliction. I'm really interested in stacking damage over time on targets and just letting them get withered down. A couple of herbs here, like, all in the same area. And a bear. There's a bear here somewhere, so... If we get aggroed, I won't be very surprised. Let's put our imp on defensive. We're gonna get aggroed by somebody. We need to train the next level of skinning. We've already maxed out the 75 out of 75. Uh, so we probably need to be visiting Ironforge. I can't get up there from here. That's uh, extremely unfortunate. Okay, let's grab the stuff we can down here. And again, these professions are just to pick stuff up that we can sell for gold. I'll be saving all the cloth we get. What I would do with the Warlock professions-wise is I would make them into a Tailor and Enchanter. Uh, but for the sake of making some money in the early game, skinning and herbalism, it's not a bad way to go. Depending on the, the economy on your server, you could use the Auction House. I tend to vendor a lot. The economy on the Westwind server is not really the greatest for really low-level stuff, so... I'm sure that gets better as you get into the higher level herbs and the higher level leather, but... I was hoping we would have like an easier way up to Karanos, so let's just go uphill here as we as we typically do. Come around our secret back entrance to the town. And we could turn in this breadcrumb that we picked up. This is how we always get into Karanos. I don't know how often we've ever used the main road into town. Breadcrumb, of course, goes to the inn. We must have just overlooked that when we came here originally. Just didn't miss this quest completely. All it does is take us here. What's on your mind? Uh, let's take the water. Safe travels. Please and thank you. It's not going to restore a lot, but... It's better than nothing. Speaking of restoring a lot, we could also no. sell what we have that we don't need. I 
And we could buy a couple more... A couple more milks. Now, the last quest we have is a Shimmer Stout. Take the barrel of Shimmer Stout to Mountaineer Barley Brew. One of the two towers that border on the border to Loch Modan, okay. Okay. How do we get into Loch Modan? Either way, it's going to be to the east, right? I kind of have a weird feeling that we've maybe missed some quests here, but this quest is is yellow to to move on. It's just unusual to me we have so much of the area not explored. And I, I'm not familiar really with the dwarf and gnome leveling zones. We can keep skinning this stuff, but it's kind of getting starting to annoy me a bit because we're not getting skill ups from any of it. No more quests here to pick up. It just seems a little strange to me that we haven't been asked to do anything over in this area? I, I don't know. Let's just go check it out and see. You guys let me know if I just missed a bunch of quests somewhere. Because it's entirely possible. And if that did happen, I'll probably figure it out pretty quickly. Because it'll, it'll definitely impact our progress if we're missing levels. Right into the tree. So weird. Trying to get my keybinds where I prefer them, where they feel natural. I always recommend just keep tweaking your key bindings and, until it feels like it's the right rotation for you. And sometimes it changes and you can change too. I don't even know if we can herb earth root yet or if it's still considered red. Uh, yeah, definitely can't. Amber still ranch, okay. Seems like maybe a place where I would pick up a quest, or do a quest, or something, perhaps? Anybody? Anybody home? Let's go check it out. Yep, definitely my kind of place. Underground, insulated, soundproofed. Look at that. Alright, well there's nobody here. I love places. I wish you could set your hearth in like any abandoned house that you find. This is the perfect- it's even stocked with what looks like booze and maybe some sparkling water and cheese. Very cool. A couple of battle axes in case, you know, you never- never have too many battle axes and firearms, I say. I've never said that. Until just now. There's the one mountaineer. Maybe he sleeps there. I, I don't know. It was called a ranch. Run over here and get the silver leaf at least.
A lot of earth root. We probably should have been leveling up our herbalism at the same rate as our skinning and we would have been in okay shape. See here, I don't know which way to go. Like, where does this take us? What is what is the deal with this area here? Is Are there not quests to do here? Yes, there is. Okay. Feeling slightly better, but still confused about possibly missing a quest. Because nothing took us here. But there are clearly quests here. And a bunch of NPCs. Alright, well, let's just see what they need. You got my attention. Senator Mayor Stonehollow. Public servant. As a member of the Senate and the Explorers League, I've taken it upon myself to take care of this part of the Trog infestation that has gripped our lands. They certainly made a mess of Golbalor Golbalor Quarry for no reason. As we dug deep into the earth, they poured out, destroying our equipment and driving the miners out. There's not much for us to do, but exterminate a lot of them, rebuild, and get back to work. If you help me with the trogs, I'll gladly recompense your time. Okay, kill ten rockjaw bone snappers. That's it. Off with you. Yeah, sure, we can do that. I hope. Yes, we can. And then Foreman Stonebrow has something for us. Ya? Those blasted trogs. Those light blasted trogs turning my worksite into a wreck. Look at that. There goes another barrel of powder. Oh, I wish I could go down there and wring every one of their scrawny little necks. I want to kill them all. This can't be good for my health. All this stress and anger. What have they left me with? Nothing. I've killed them myself, but my aim's so, no, not so good anymore. So you go into the quarry, kill some of the filthy buggers. I'll pay you. Just hurt them, kill them. We got, we got it. This guy wants some more dead trogs, Watch so we're gonna have a lot of dead trogs on our hands. And quite frankly, I'm 100% cool with that. Yeah, let's just come in right over here. This is the perfect, obviously the perfect entry point. Our, our imp, um, God, he could be doing anything. I'm gonna get rid of that guy. <laughs> we'll, we'll resummon him down here where it's safe. I don't want him running around like up on the ledges and pulling a hundred guys down to us. And pets take weird paths in classic. So we're just gonna resummon him down here to be safe. Whoops. Oh hey there. Squeaky knees. It's for the heel. These guys are pathing, but not like an incredible amount. However, they are aggressive. Don't know that we want to take on too many at once. What did he resist? The corruption? Yep. Where are the bone snappers? Are the bone snappers going to be deep into the cave? Should we be heading that way?
Sometimes I forget if I don't hit F6 and tell my minion to attack, he won't assist me until I've been struck. Which is very different from how pets operate in modern WoW, obviously, and I, I have been forgetting that. But forgetting to hit F6 some of the time. We haven't killed any bone snappers yet. That's a little irregular. Yeah, they're in the cave. Okay, at least we know why. It looks like some of the bone snappers are going to be back in this cave. So let us keep working our way back. Probably being careful would be a good idea. Now wait a minute, this guy right here behind us, did he just respawn or was he just there and I ignored him? If he respawned, that's kind of troubling. If he was there and I ignored him, that's kind of also a little troubling to me because it means I didn't see him. We'll just keep an eye on our backs as we go through here because at some point we will have we will have to deal with respawns. We're already dealing with respawns, let's get real. It's classic, we're dealing with respawns. And we seem to be the only player right here. I don't, I don't know if there's anybody else deeper in the cave. A lot of players online though, at our level, so... Alright. Oh good, our imp is dead. It's perfect. I don't know how much damage we do without our imp, but we are about to find out. Let's do life tap to get some mana back. Let's hope that we can drink and resummon our pet before we have respawn stacked on top of us. Another healing potion. It's 10 second cast to pull out our imp, so if he goes down in combat, we're probably not getting him back out in that combat. feel like we're going to get two if we pull that way. Let's try to pull over here. Assholes. Damn, he laid us out. If you've seen a lot of my videos, you'll know that one of the, my biggest complaints about WoW Classics so far has been the respawn rate and how cranked up it is and how it prevents you as a player from being able to make progression through an area that you're fighting in. Like, you can't make any... How, how could I make progression here with 
everything respawning behind me, I'd have to choose to unwisely ignore it at my back. Um, and, I, you know, the kind of player I am, like, I want to explore this cave. Even if I don't have to go back there, I'd love to have the sense of working my way into the cave. Uh, but with the respawn rate, I can't. I'm constantly turning around, I'm fighting what's behind me, I'm aggroing what's popping back up behind me, etc. Okay, we've missed with everything we've tried on this guy, I guess. Uh, okay, there's one, two... Okay. Pioneer gloves. Leather, can't equip them, all right. Uh, can we help this guy? We could help this guy if he... Oh, we, we couldn't help that guy, he was helpless. We tried though, you saw me try to help him. It might have been a little bit too late, but I didn't give up on him. We had aggro and then he just kind of tried to keep hitting him. I'm not sure why he wouldn't just like run past us and run away. Let us deal with it. Maybe he didn't know we were trying to help him. Alright, let's check behind us. What have we got? Oh, look at that. We got some respawns to deal with. Skull thumpers. You know, I'm pretty sure we don't need any more of those. But I gotta take this guy out because otherwise we'll have to deal with him on the way back. That's still I probably need to carry around some food as well since we don't exactly have any healing until we get life drain or the ability to make a health stone. Then I haven't really been carrying around any food. And we probably also need to bandage but thinking about ba spending cloth on bandages and also knowing that I want to, would want to make this guy a tailorer kind of makes that a tough proposition. I don't need this skull thumper and I'm like not really wanting to deal with that. If we check out back here, has anybody popped back up yet? No. And then I don't even know what we needed for the- oh we completed the other quest. He just wanted us to kill six skull thumpers. For some reason I thought we had a bunch of different trogs to fight, but it's just the two different kinds. And we only need two more bone snappers, so... How far do we want to have to go in here? I guess there's some little bit of safety with other people around, but... Like, if I walk by this guy, is he gonna aggro? He might. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. Yeah, waste your time running back towards us. There you go. That's a good tactic. Stand further away from the imp when the imp has aggro, so the enemy has to run towards us. I can get into that. It's gonna be hard to grab the guys we need with all these people running through here. Rockjaw, Bone Snapper, Bone Snapper, anybody? Well, that sucks. Now we're on their entire aggro chain, and we're probably going to get killed unless we help them. Which is incredibly annoying to me. I'm tempted to do very minimal. And just see what happens to them. I would have loved to be able to tag at least one, but we didn't get to tag any of them. 
we got this guy. So, there we go. Refreshing spring water. Alright, now let me out of combat with you guys so I can get out of here. There we go. Now chances are a lot of things up here have actually respawned, so maybe we'll get lucky, but no, we're not we're not we're not that lucky. We're not that lucky at all. We're incredibly incredibly unfortunate. Basically everything back up here is back alive. Here we go. This this fine gentleman right here with all of his brains is our way out. Look at that. We will take care of this guy. Oh, he killed our imp pretty succinctly. Fortunate for us. Better for him. There we go. Let's get him dead. Let's get our health back. Let's get our pet back. And let's get back up this hill to turn these quests in, shall we? I think... Um, well, how the hell are we getting out of here? Exactly. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. Can we just, like... No. We can't. Am I going to have to fight everything in here to find a way out? Seems likely. Usually the way out of these places is pretty evident. It, there's got to be a road up here that like we're not seeing. So let's just believe in the map. Believe in the fact that I probably can't tell an entrance from a landslide. I don't know why you would want to help us. We haven't been very helpful towards you. There's gotta be a way up, right over here probably, behind this barricade wall. Looks like we just follow these guys, we'll have no problem at all. Because they will pull all the mobs for us and lead us back to the quest givers. Perfect. Thanks, team. Great to meet you. It is a start. Hopefully we can take advantage of it and move some mountaineers into secure the area. Then we can begin to restore our infrastructure and get the miners back to work. Thank you for your assistance. See you soon. No other follow-ups, but three silver. That'll buy, like, one stack of milk. Hi. Well, that makes me feel a little better. But I won't be happy until they're all dead. All of them. You, you might be here for about ten years, then. Watch your back. And no follow-ups from him, either. Okay, well... Nice little find here. Nothing led us here. That still concerns me, because it makes me think we missed some quests back here. If you guys are aware of any quests that we've missed so far, go ahead and let me know. Uh, I'd love to be aware, because uh, failing that, all we really have to do is continue to head on to Loch Madan. One of the two southern towers on the border to Loch Madan. The southern towers, okay. This feeling that I'm not going the right way.
And then there's ambushers over here and different types of trogs. It just makes me think that there have to be more quests to do in this zone. I already got here and I, I think I won the race, guys. Yep, I did. What did we aggro? Oh, one of these fine chaps. Did not need them, but what are you going to do? Yeah, there's so many other trog camps and different types of trogs. It's incredibly hard for me to believe that there wouldn't be more quests to take them on. Usually in WoW, you know, being a theme park MMO where every area is basically meant to lead you on a big quest ring and then lead you to the next area. If they design an area with creatures that are named specifically something different than what you've been fighting, chances are there's a quest to go there either to fight them or loot them or loot something around them. It's really all you're going to do in a theme park MMO is you're going to go fight the mobs, you're going to go loot the mobs, or you're going to go pick something up off the ground around the mobs. So yeah, just a little concerning, a little, I'm a little concerned. I also am not sure where this is taking us. I'm hoping this is the southern tower. Um, but you know, it could lead us to the wetlands or something weird. I'm, I'm gonna go through and see where this goes exactly. Oh, maybe it doesn't go far at all. Like I said, I'm not familiar at all really with the dwarf and gnome starting area. Southern gate outpost. Okay. That sounds like a place we'd want to be. Okay, here's the turn-in. Now, is he just going to tell us to continue on to Loch Modan? Talk to me. Hello, Warlock. And what business takes you all the way out here? Something exciting, I hope. I haven't been in a good fight in days, and this barrel of ale is almost dry. Well, here is a barrel of Simmer Stout. Mountaineer Barley Brew tastes the Simmer Stout. Oh, whoa. This stuff really puts a shine in your eyes. I feel like I can see in the dark. I've been drinking more of that Shimmer Stout my brother made. It's great stuff. I want a fellow Mountaineer to try it. His name's Cadrill, and he's usually patrolling the road through Thelsimar in Loch Madan. To get to Thelsimar, go southeast through the tunnel, then turn northeast when the path forks into the road. Follow the road straight into Thelsimar. Give Mountaineer Cadrill this cask of Shimmer Stout and see what he thinks. Alright, so we will take a break here. Let me know, you guys, if I missed a bunch of quests here in Dunmoreau. I don't want to leave anything incomplete and I'm kind of hesitant to move into this area feeling like I feel. Which is that I, I feel like I definitely missed a quest chain or two somewhere. So let me know and we'll pick up from there. As always, thank you guys so much for being here with me today. Your support means a lot. So keep yourselves safe out there and stay sane. And we will hopefully see you again real soon. Bye now.